For 32 years, I was constantly looking over my shoulder, wondering who killed my sister. I was always wondering if it was somebody I knew. How did he meet Janelle? Why was Janelle his last victim? Did he kill anyone else after her? After 20 years of living life depressed and scared from the murder and loss of my sister so brutally by that man, I decided to start looking for her killer. I wrote to every media outlet telling the story Joseph D'Angelo created until finally they started writing me back and asking for interviews. Soon after, the case was getting more recognized and people from all over the country were reaching out to me with persons of interest to be looked at. During the same time, I was researching many of my own friends and their family members, and even some very, very bad people. I spent 10 long years looking for the killer, Joseph D'Angelo. My kids were growing up without me mentally because most of my time was devoted to finding the person responsible for killing my sister. Many family members were angry with me and told me I was putting them in danger when I came out as an advocate for justice while trying to track down the killer. But finding him was more important than the fear I felt. Men, many family members told me to give it to God and I said to them, I did, and this is the path he put me on. My path was to keep pushing and advocating to keep this case active and in the spotlight. I wanted to let the world know the havoc Joseph James D'Angelo created in the lives of so many people in the last 45 years. He destroyed so many families while he was living his best life fishing on his boat, all of our families were struggling to find answers. Thankfully, on April 24th, 2018, we got our answers. When I was told my sister's murderer had been caught, I cried and cried for hours. Finally, I would not have to spend six to eight hours a day looking for answers anymore. I could finally relax I could finally start living and enjoying special moments with my kids and my family. I could stop looking over my shoulder and fear of him sneaking up on me. All those sleepless nights with dressers propped in front of my doors and windows and lights on all night are over. No more thinking he would try and find and kill me too. I do not have to keep moving house to house to stay undetected by him. All the things that haunted my mind for 32 years, I could finally try and release. He no longer has control over my mind because I know he will never be free again. I am damaged, but for the last two years, I have been trying to put trust, I've been trying to trust people again. I've been working on myself and I'm trying to put my life together and find happiness. Slowly I'm putting myself together and I'm thankful to all those who have stuck by my side for the last 34 years. Like Leslie, who's here today, Dina and Michael, they are my rocks. I'm thankful to law enforcement who never gave up, especially Erica Hutchcraft, who listened to me almost daily for many years with what ifs. And Larry Poole and Anne Marie Schubert, Carol Daly here from Sacramento are my heroes. While trying to find Joseph D'Angelo, I met other victims who I had become close friends with, like Debbie Domingo and Jane Carson Sandler. We've cried together because of our grief but found good friendships. Now my time is no longer concentrated on who killed my sister, but rather on finding happiness and enjoyment, which I had lost because of Joseph D'Angelo 34 years ago. From now on, while he is withering away in prison, I will be spending my days fishing on the river, enjoying my family and grandchild, eating out, relaxing in the comfort of my home, free. I will be free of the fear he put me through for so long. I will go on without him controlling my every thought. Now I know who killed my sister Janelle. Joseph D'Angelo did. I am happy and content 
with the fact that he is behind bars. I am saddened for his children and grandchildren to live the rest of their lives knowing what he has done. But finally, his family and friends and coworkers will know the truth about him. Now they know who he truly is, a vicious rapist and murderer, nothing more. I hope he rots. Thank you, ma'am. I have a video also that I want to share. My mom could not be here today, so this is 
from my mother Diane to Joseph James D'Angelo. How can he even live with himself? How can he live with knowing he did this to my beautiful daughter? He is a coward, but he is worse than a coward. He is a coward, a fraud, and a pathetic loser. He attempts to hide, but the world sees him now. Thank you, ma'am.